Hey, this is Susie J. Cobwebs here. How you doing? I thought I would just make this quick video and it's just a reminder. You are doing a great job. I know when you are writing, you feel as though there is no end and you are not seeing an end, not only to your writing, but maybe your cells are down or they may not be to where you would like them to be. This could maybe be a little or no growth that you see on social media platforms. That is okay. Take a breath. Ready? In, out. Ready? You are working as hard as you can, regardless of what stage of the process that you are in. It may be making changes. It may be a small dent in your novel, or it could be that you are not seeing little or no growth on your social media platforms, or maybe you are not face to face with some of your tribe members, your groups, and you're not really networking as much as you would like to be. Each one of these things are basically a small fraction of the bigger picture. Just like anything else, things like this have processes. They have their own type of trends. There are going to be times where you are going to put your full effort into writing and you're going to get a lot accomplished. Then the next thing you do is the social media and then you start seeing increases with your numbers when you focus on your engagements, your comments, your posts, your memes, whatever you're doing. Don't be so hard on yourself. This is not a time for you to get stressed out. If you need to, break it down into baby steps. Then do it that way. I use the same practices that I advise you, so I know that they work. This is also a time where you can enjoy each individual process with each individual sections. So what do you feel is stopping you? Insecurities? How did you get through them? Can you comment that down below? This is a place here where I can say I totally understand. What about the closet feelings that you have when your baby is going out in the world for everyone else to read or for others to judge you or get judged by the whole world or to make sure that they put their own critique on what should have happened? in your novel or even make a good one that the reader found typos this may or may not make or break a reader to read the rest of your novel just throwing it out there don't get me wrong i was ecstatic when i published my book there were so many different types of feelings i had to come in terms with that i really didn't give this much thought that this something was truly happening to every new author so you became a published author. Now what? What are you gonna do with this information? Quite frankly, there is a lot of things that you need to do with this information. And obviously you are not doing them now, but let's step back and check our feelings first. You need to have a good head on your shoulders. First, when you decide to take those next steps into being a part of the business, one of the important ideas is this, and you have to remember this with every stage of the game. Get ready for this. This is not a time to compare yourself with other writers or authors. I understand this is easier said than done. What about this? You are your own person with your own journey. Let's put us in this type of different perspective. It's just like this. Danielle Steele, Stephen King, whoever, rich and famous, whether they're an author or not, they started off with one novel or book or an item willing to sell. This is the time where they started building and getting into the grind to make sure they're building their own following, just like what they're doing right now just like what you are doing right now. And the only difference between you and them is the fact that they started before you. They have more experience 
behind them. That is it. Every person that would like to become an author, they go through these jitters of getting their first novel out. This feeling will diminish as when you start talking to your fan base, you add more products to your own like invisible store that you're gonna start. You just didn't start it yet, right? <laughs> Remember, even with your first book, it's still gonna be messy somewhere that you need to improve on. That's okay. You do better the next time. What kind of feelings came across to you when you published your first book or attempt to publish your first book? Can you comment them down below? I went through this a while ago and this was something I didn't realize that I was even thinking about until it happened. I wanted to write a book. Check. I wanted to be an author. Check. I wanted to be a famous author. Okay, well, I'm getting there. And I think what really didn't dawn on me was that the fact that other people will be reading my own novel. I know that sounded kind of weird. And these are just my thoughts. My feelings, regardless if this was a fiction book or not, these are still items and descriptions that were coming out of my mind. I had the case of the what ifs. I think we know what they are. What if the customer doesn't like my book? What if they do like my book? What if they trash me on social media and they say that I'm a bad writer? What if I become the New York bestseller author? As you can see, I'm all over the place. And this is where I felt this could make or break my career. Not that my career really even started yet at this point, but the self-doubt was going to set in. And I knew I had to fight through all the anxiety, all the possible rejection to make sure that I was gonna get to that next milestone that was in my life. What is stopping you from pursuing writing, publishing your first book? Can you write that in the comments below? If you like these videos and you want to see more of these videos, by all means, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification button so you can stay on top of all the different things that I post. And to the next time, love you bunches.